I'm going to show you how to avoid getting errors like this when you are integrating Python scripts into Power BI. This is usually caused with some discrepancies between the Python environment and Power BI. And these errors usually give us an indication of that. So you can see looking at this error up close, we see there is a missing dependency with NumPy. This is usually not the case because NumPy is usually installed with your base Python installation if you use Anaconda. So let's look at some of your options. So if you go into options and settings and we click on options, go to Python scripting and now you can see the environment that you are using when you are running your Python scripts. You can either copy and paste this or just keep note of it. Next, what I'm gonna do is open up an Anaconda prompt. We can see that our environment is the base environment. Now, you may not know what the base environment is, so let me kind of show you all the environments that you may have or you may not have. If you've never created a environment in Python, then you're going to have just the base. So first thing I want you to do is type conda and then info, two dashes, and ENVS. And that's all the environments that I have currently created with a Python virtual environment. We can see that the one we have is this one indicated in our Power BI, but it's not activated. So let's activate it. So we're gonna use activate, and then we're gonna use the name, new, but actually we don't wanna start with the name because that can cause issues with the activation where it does not find it. So what I want you to do is just copy and paste that whole path and then press enter. And you can see now that that environment is activated. So once that environment is activated, I want you to move over and let's close this instance of a Power BI notebook. Now that I have this, we, what we wanna do is open our Power BI notebook from this environment. So all I'm going to do is just copy the path where the Power BI notebook is. And, and this is a pretty common path where it's installed and you can see that it's in quotations. I'm gonna hit enter. And then you've launched Power BI through your Anaconda prompt and that should eliminate that NumPy issue and try to create a visual. I'm gonna use the Python script. And you can now see your Python visual will run. But let's go back and let's create a new environment so you're aware of how to do this. So once you're back in your Anaconda prompt, I want you to go over. And then what we're going to do is create a new environment. We're gonna do Conda, create, then we're going to use two dashes and then the name and then your environment name. So I'm going to call this PBI underscore new. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now you can see that environment is create is going to be created and then it's asking us to proceed. make this a bit smaller hit enter and now we're going to use uh, conda activate for that new environment and you can see the environment location here I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to use conda activate and pay attention to the environment it's called PBI new our environment now is new e environment PBI I'm going to run that and now you can see that has changed. So to see the packages that are installed in your new environment, 
you can use conda and then list. And we can see that it's a pretty clean environment. So I'm going to activate another environment to show you the list. So I'm going to go back up to my base environment here. And then I'm going to activate that conda, activate. And then we put in our location. We have our base and I'm going to write conda list. And you can see there is a ton of packages in my base environment. So that means in your new environment, you're going to have to install the packages that you need for things to work. So that means you will have to start with pandas, numpy, and all those different ones. And if you are unaware of how to install a package, we can quickly do that. And then I'm going to go back to that base environment. So conda activate, we put in our location, and now we have that in. And all you're going to do is conda install, and then you can use the package name. I'm going to install pandas. And you can see now that package is being installed. And then when we install pandas, we also are going to get a whole host of different packages installed also. Then you can bring up that list. Now we take conda list. And now you can see you have quite a lot of packages that come the base installation of pandas. And of course, now that you have this new environment, you can also launch a different instance of your Power BI notebook. So I'm going to open up another instance and now you can see that open up. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.